I do not accept dead ends. If it's hard, if it's a challenge, I'll go there. I will not stop until I've reached my goal. I won't be stopped by snow, by heights, by danger. The harder the road, the more obstacles in my way, the better. My name is Sean, and this is the story till now. Brought to you in part by Epic Adventure Outfitters. What's up guys, hope you had a great weekend. Thanks for tuning in. We're here at the Epic Adventure Outfitters shop today. Just getting ready to go out on our adventure. Casey's here. Hey guys. We're actually going out and shooting a movie for the Overlander Film Festival this weekend. So, we're gonna bring you along for the ride, show you a little behind the scenes stuff. We are back. Well, where do you think we are? We're back where we were last time on the Dangerous Elevation video. Uh, as you guys know, probably if you watch a lot of videos on the channel, we don't really like to be defeated. So we didn't make it to the peak last time because there was that uh, snow blocking the entire road. Whew. What a cool spot to be airing down. <laughs> yes. Blocking the road, airing down? Yeah, you know, I bet maybe I'm not the most courteous. Whew. Make sure to don't put your keys on the seat, you might lose them. <laughs> We're also up here today for another reason, guys. We're shooting our entry for the Overlander Film Fest that Expedition Overland's putting on. I think it's gonna be pretty epic. Ron and Andy would also be joining us on this trip, but they went on ahead while Casey and I took some time working on shots for our movie. We're gonna meet up with them further up the trail. One of the things I like about this trail is that the scenery keeps changing things up. From creek crossings to steep inclines to rock slides every 100 feet or so. Nature isn't shy of letting you know that this is her domain and you enter at your own peril. It's up to you to decide if the risks are worth it. quickly made our way through the metals and climbs towards the first switchback, where we were turned around two weeks prior by a large snowbank. That snowbank is long gone, but the challenge would arrive soon enough. Shovel and shovel, 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 we're, good. we're gonna have to shovel out this snow here. 
to get any further because there's no way we're driving over it. But uh, we got a lot of shovels. So a lot of shovels, what we need. All right, we need shovels. Shovel time? Shovel time. This is a good thumbnail. As we get further to the tender, it comes right here. Falls like rock. Be careful. This snowbank got deeper the further we dug into it. And the deeper it was, the more it turned to ice. About two hours later, we made the call. It was time to attempt the crossing we built. On our left, a wall of ice. On our right, an off-camber slope and about an inch of soft dirt before a 2,000 meter drop. As the sun began setting, we arrived at the lower peak. Guys, we made it. Just in time for sunset. Pretty crazy. Sky's gonna get pretty good here. We're gonna make some burgers. Pretty stoked. We can't get to the highest peak because there's still an extremely big snowbank covering the road. So that's uh, a bummer. But this is good enough for me for today. More than good enough. Really? Well, Casey, I think our movie's been a success so far today. Oh, fighting it. <laughs> it's been a, uh, a huge endeavor, <laughs> but uh, we're getting there. Look at that picture. Woo! Yeah. The gram. For the gram. <laughs> we do it for the gram, for right? The gram, <laughs> the gram. With sunlight fading, we got our large charcoal grill fired up and made some of Andy's famous adventure burgers. Then we watched the sun go down, reflecting on the day's journey. When we woke in the morning, we were in a thick fog that was flowing beautifully around the mountain edges. All right guys, it's 8 a.m. Woke up after camping at the peak of this mountain. Near the peak. All right guys, so there's just one more patch. 
big patch of snow here between me and the peak of this mountain. And you know I don't like to be defeated. So, I had a couple of guys here with me doing some shoveling. We're gonna make some tracks through here. We're getting to that peak. If I thought that digging out the first snowbank was intense, this one was massive. With the sun beating down on us hard, we shoveled and shoveled. Yeah, as I'm still shoveling, it's been about an hour. We're getting to this peak. When there was a long enough rut, I decided to push through. This section of road, when I say it's not for the faint of heart, I'm really not exaggerating. The feeling I get when driving this is one where your fear meets your confidence, and there's a war for which will win, but you found complete balance and focus in the two. Just get it done. The rewards are definitely worth it. When I say I live for these moments, I mean that with all my heart. Meeting back up with the guys, we begin our descent. Much of the snow from the day before has melted from our road work. The crossing back to the other side, while still a bit sketchy, is no longer much of a worry. Oh, I need the surprise face. Are you still rolling? Yeah. All right, guys, we just finished shooting our movie. That's a wrap. That is a wrap. That was quite Well, something ever. else. We got it done, though. Uh, Casey's going to head out from here. He's got to get back to Vancouver Island. 
and I'm gonna go back and meet up with uh, Bron and Andy and uh, go have lunch at the lake. I believe this is the most beautiful spot in BC. What better place to end a journey and reflect on life than a lake that looks like a mirror? All right guys, I think that's all we got for this video. We're gonna head back down the trail, head out home. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Please hit the subscribe button if you did, it helps us out a lot. Check out my merch at dirtyanddangerous.com and I'll see you guys next week. peak I could possibly get to in BC to scatter your ashes so I can be close closer to you.